What's going on fellas and welcome back to our Toronto Mounties Reload Draft Build on the channel. Now this is our last off season that we are allowed to build up the team until next season where we will make our push for the playoffs or the Super Bowl. As you can see we're off to a 2-0 start so we might even make the playoffs this year. However even if we make the playoffs this year I'm still going to simulate to the next season. But let me know if we make it next season do you guys want me to play the games or you know what should we do like episode by episode or if we're going to make a good playoff push I definitely want to get some receivers Boyd and Ross are just not Super Bowl material no offense to them we could easily up those to both 80s if we spend two uh, draft picks on them tight ends great offensive line just needs to develop but we might pick one up in a later round and on the defensive end majority rule says Clowney goes to left end now there are a lot saying switch to a 3-4 and then everybody gets to play the goal is to win a Super Bowl with the scheme that we have we can't physically change the scheme we can just move players around on the scheme. So that's why Clowney's down at left end. You guys were also telling me that Willis down here is an absolute monster and gets like 22 and a half sacks. Either way, I think I'm going to keep Lawson at right end just because he is statistically the better player. We might even aim for a safety, just saying, because Santerra still hasn't improved at all, which is a problem. Now we can finally get into building this team up on our last season. Legendary Roots, Miami quarterback Gordon Niswanger can trace his roots back through football history. Pretty cool. Aussie leaves rugby. Pharrell Stewart is leaving the rugby pitch and is trying his hand at DT for Texas. So we have another rugby player. <laughs> That's... Come on, Madden. He's a guaranteed superstar. I'm not really looking to draft another defensive tackle, but we've got a couple of picks in the first round, so I might just take him. Guaranteed superstar. We'll chuck him on. Now let's go check out the wide receiver spot. See what we have. Latarius Wade. He looks pretty good. A spec catch. B plus catch in traffic. Ooh, speed receiver out of Miami. Straight Bs as well. This guy should be pretty damn good. I'm going to put him on the watch list. Johnny Lama. Speed out of Wisconsin. Another straight B player. If I'm going for speedy receivers, these two might be our guys right here. Uh, B plus spec. Oh, A minus spec catch. Dixon Hunt. He's going on the watch list. Okay, I see you. A lot of quality wide receivers in this one. I will not be going into the free agency this episode. I'm going to let the computer do it. So, off-season free agent bidding. Let's go automatic. How do you guys think we're going to do this season? I think we have a playoff contending team here. With the addition of Jadavion Clowney, I think we should at least be a 500 team. Let me know down in the comment section though. Do you guys reckon we're going to make the playoffs this year? 9 and 4, boys. First in the division. Second is Baltimore and 8 and 5. 5 and 8 Steelers, 4 and 9 Browns. And we got a pretty easy lineup. Jets, Browns, Dolphins. Dolphins might be the only team that gives us a challenge. So we should finish on what, 11 and 5? Bro, <laughs> this might be the Super Bowl year. I scouted all the way down to the second, and the only three that I, four, five that I really liked were Dixon Hunt, Dante Stokes, Johnny Lammer, Brian Campbell, and Latarius Wade. Now, we're looking more so for speed. AJ Green's not getting any younger, but Brian Campbell and Johnny Lammer are still my top two prospects here. Dixon Hunt is pretty damn close but I don't think we're going to need him despite the A-minus spec catch. We could find room for him though with a later first round pick. I scouted a bit more of the DTs just in case, but I still like Pharrell Stewart. All these guys are complete trash. And then just to improve our offensive line, I found Matt Giong. Anyway, Matt Giong, Colorado zone blocker, and then Brian Horn, who was also a BBC instead of a BCC. So I'm going to keep my eye on both of these guys. They're later round picks. We have the picks for them. We actually have a lot. Check it out. Three first rounders, a second, two thirds, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. But this should be a pretty good offseason, man, to kind of solidify our team a little bit. If we make the Super Bowl, I will definitely stop the episode and play the Super Bowl because then we've won. What is our record going to be? What do we finish on? Do we get a first round bye? We go to the wild card round. We lost all of those games. We still won the division, but we lost every single game to the Browns and the Jets. Get out of here, mate. Will we beat the Pats? Probably not. We did. We beat the Pats. Yo, hold on a second. Before we do that, let's go check out the season stats. See if we ranked up on anything. We'll drop our XP, which will give us a better chance. MVP goes to Aaron Rodgers, Leonard Fournette second, Sam Bradford third, Offensive Player of the Year. So we're not going to get any XP from this whatsoever. Offensive Rookie goes to Matt Vinatieri, Dion Barlow. Where are our players, mate? Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Jamerson Weldon. Then Bradley Reed comes in second. That's the first time I've only had one person on Rookie of the Year ever. We didn't have that many players that we drafted, but still, we should have at least had two, mate. 
Oh, there we go. Hoover came third in the AFC. Question is, how did we actually do? Michael Hoover had 4,200 yards, 32 touchdowns, 19 interceptions. So that can still be improved a lot. Rushing, Joe Mixon had over 1,000 yards, so I'm keen to keep him. We should re-sign Giovanni Bernard as well, just for a backup. Receiving Tyler Eifert, AJ Green. Yeah, we got to get rid of Boyd and Ross, man. They're not doing their job out there. If we combine AJ and Tyler with two more speedy receivers, we should be good to rock there. Who did their thing on defense? So Brandon Portilla killed at 129 yards. Perfect did his job. Jadavion had an interception playing left end. That's crazy. All right, well, let's spend this XP, though. We don't have much all around. Uh, let's get Michael Hoover's medium up to 90. Deep up to 83. That's all we can really do. Play action, we can get that up to. I wanted to get his throw power up, but it's so damn expensive. He goes up one overall. <laughs> AJ Green, the wide receiver. Ooh, man, everything's becoming pretty expensive for you. Catching traffic, I guess. We'll go a couple into carrying. Bradley Reed, the rookie cornerback. Let's get your man coverage up to 90, zone up to 85, press up to 90, and then we'll put the rest into your awareness. He jumps up to 85. What's our overall, though? We're an 83, so we're a lot worse than I thought we were. Let's see if we can... Uh, Get our way out of the divisional round against the Bills. Should be easy work. Now that I've said that, watch us lose. We lost. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. How did we lose to the Bills? Who do they have on their team, man? Players ready to negotiate 19. We're $75 million in the hole, so we're going to get fired. So we might as well just spend this cash anyway. All right, well, let's simulate to the draft. The computer has been assigned to automatic, which means they will sign anybody in the free agency. Not that we'll be able to actually sign anyone, but you never know. The computer is mysterious. Mmm, they actually signed some people. Jordan Matthews, 79. TJ McDonald Jr. I believe his name's TJ. Jordan Matthews, a nice pickup though. Who was in there this free agency though? Carson Wentz was in there. He went to the Browns. Austin Hooper. Wow, there were some solid people in there. Miles Jack was in there. Please don't take any of my receivers, bro. All right, so Carey goes. He's a wide receiver. Campbell goes. And Lattimore Wade, or whatever the hell his name was, goes. They took Campbell, though. And that's the guy I really, really wanted to get. We can still get Dixon Hunt, though. Not sure how good he is. But let's start off by getting Johnny Lama. He runs a 4-3-1, bro. 81 quick, 95 acceleration, 96 speed. He's ranked 8th. We drafted him at ninth. A solid way to start. He's already the second string wide receiver. 25th pick. We have back-to-back -back picks here. I guarantee you that other guy got picked, though. There's nobody else here that I like. We're going to have to rock with John Ross as the third. That kind of screws up everything now. We're going to draft this guy and move into receiver. 78 normal. He's ranked 22nd, got him at 25th. So he's not a bad player by any means. What do we really need? Like offensive line, maybe? Take this guy, Corey Ramsey. 80 overall normal. All right, that's a good pick out of nowhere. He's ranked 13th, got him at 26. I might just draft the fastest wide receiver no matter how bad he is. There's no fast receivers left. This guy is 7th and runs a 4-3-5, but no, that's not worth a 4th round pick, man. Skip this one. Let the computer pick. They probably know more than us. And skip this one. We draft another left outside linebacker. So let's check out what Brian Horn was because we were meant to draft him. In the sixth round, the computer took him in the third round. So we start off with Johnny Lammer, the wide receiver. 81 quick, he will be a great addition to our receiving core. Then we picked up Saunders, who might become a receiver. He's 78. Corey Ramsey, the left tackle, who's an 80 normal. That's a really good pickup. Russell Hanna, the DT. That was a blind pick, and that turned out great. He was a quick development, 78. Brian Horn was a 75 normal. Pretty damn solid player, can serve as a backup. But let's go check out. We are meant to get a lot of those players, and they got taken before we could even get them. There's a guy with the Asian name. He was 72. Lucky we didn't get him. Dixon Hunt, that's the guy we were after. He was a 78, so he wasn't. We didn't miss out on anything too special there. This guy was an 81 in the second round. Ah, he's from Michigan State. Should have known. This is another guy that was on our board, Daniel Lawrence. He was an 80 quick. We missed out on him too. Bryant Campbell was an 84 overall. Normal development, blazing fast. If we got Bryant and Lemur with a Lama, that would have been a deadly duo, but the Browns freaking got Brian Campbell. That definitely could have gone a lot better for us, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes the draft doesn't go in your favor. All right, so checking out the team that's going to go for the Super Bowl push, we have AJ Green, who's dropped another three overall. Lama, 
Jordan Matthews, our O-line took a great improvement. Lanavoy is now an 82, Hoax an 81, Lawrence is 76, Esposito is now 76. So we have a full drafted offensive line. Giovanni Bernard, I forgot we re-signed him. He's still there with Joe Mixon. So on the defense, we really didn't improve at all. Geno's dropped another two overall. The only addition that we really made was the wide receivers, Lama and Jordan Matthews. Other than that, the team's pretty much the same team. Fingers crossed that we make the playoffs, man. But that is going to wrap up the final offseason for the Toronto Mounties. Next episode, we'll be simulating to the playoffs, and then we'll be playing all the games throughout to see if we win. Let me know what the format should be. Do we have to at least make the divisional round or maybe the conference championship to be able to jump in and play? Because I don't want to stretch it out and do wildcard division, conference, and Super Bowl. That's just going to take too long. This is more of a simulation thing. But let me know down in the comment section. But that being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. At all. You've been out all night. I don't know where you've been. You're slurring all your words. Not making any sense.